Day Harris and company trying to get back into the win column, get win number eight on the year. And a feed inside to Robinson. Points in the paint are going to be big in this contest. Scrap for the ball, Foley and Elmore. And here come the Tigers. Robinson, quick pass, Whitehorn. Give her two there, part of a lineup. Trying to come across, uh, prove to them is we got to play this game on both ends. More dishes. Pretty finish. Davis, senior out of Knoxville, Bearden. Foley comes away with it. Here come the Bucks. Average under 60 points a game. Dry stretches offensively have been an issue for them. Ryan Junior College in Florida. Yeah, she had 25 against uh, Gardner Webb. Brown. Foley back to Brown. She hit a three from that spot moments ago and seems to like it. Just onto the floor, Brecken Snotherly for the Bucks. Also checking in moments ago, Journey McDaniel. Unique time of the year, to say the least, for a basketball coach to be celebrating a wedding anniversary. Quickly on the ball reversal, Journey McDaniel. Yep, no doubt about it. Uh, Watch to move that basketball. and uh, First player in double figures, she has 10. Whitehorn looks to answer. And Ruby Whitehorn picking up where she left off Tuesday. Whitehorn in traffic. Harris and one. Opportunity for a three-point play for Day Harris. So how about the feistiness by the Tigers off the inbound? <laughs> Amari obviously will be, in my opinion, a Hall of Famer here at Clemson. Oh, absolutely. Cluse, hand on it by Moore. There was Elmore to clean up. Under five and a half to play before the half. Whitehorn from long range. She played against Georgia State. She was really down. He came into the gym. Good defense again. Brown, the pull up over Robinson. With Pretty a, move. Proud yeah, with no moves like that. That's a great job. And they're back within a single digit deficit. Staying in that 2 3 matchup. Whitehorn out front. Ruby Whitehorn. Again, has not had a good run from three-point range, but she's now two of two in this game. Give her 12. She's uh, she's developing some confidence in that three-shot, looks like. From the wing, Moore. Boy, that was a needed answer. Three's on either end, Jim. Great pass there to top. Got to close out with high hand. Moore around a screen. Shot clock at four. Kick to the corner, Beatty. Big three. Fifth made by the Bucks team today. Breanne Beatty. Oakland transfer. Knocks down her first tray. They're back within 13. Roush thought about the outside. Instead feeds the inside. More than 15 so far. They average well below that. Roush on the drive. Swings it to Ott. Who delivers? Matty Ott from downtown. Whitehorn under five to go. Brown defends. On the wing, Ott, count it, <laughs> Matty Ott, quite a third quarter, 34 for now. Once again, Ruby Whitehorse, Whitehorn drew two defenders. Good crew we've got today. Brown defended by Ott, out front, long attempt, it'll go for Journey McDaniel, the sophomore from down east in North Carolina, New York. Bucks for the game, six of 14. Harris and Robinson out for the double team. So another try by McDaniel from way out there. McDaniel tries another three. Wow. Surprised they didn't get her the ball from long range earlier. She has been red hot and perfect from beyond the arc. Four out of four. 12 of the game. Second player in double figures for the Bucks, who are back within 12. Inside, Inyang. Good answer for Clemson. Have something. We'll get that squared away. And oh, Inyang. Kramer refusing the screen. Had the right idea. 
Mackenzie Kramer hits another three. Cleaning up from the outside, Kramer, swish, Tigers up big. Quickly whittle this thing down to single digits and put Clemson on edge. Tigers forcing yet another turnover. 20 in the game for the Bucks, and then Kramer on the other end. South Carolina, she said when. We said, well, maybe. Look at that touch. <laughs> they don't call it snow. Now from the Tigers on their way to an eighth win on the season, and Kramer on her way to one of her better scoring days in a Clemson uniform. I'm going to say for her, it's a dusting, <laughs> with whatever we get here. <laughs> Kloos in one motion to Kramer. Valentine. She gets into the scoring column with a bomb. Valentine doesn't even need to clear midcourt. So Amanda Butler going against one of her former assistants of both Charlotte and Florida, Brenda Mock-Brown.